Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the machine learning sessions. Uh, this is a continuation topic. Uh, in the earlier sessions, we have seen what is reinforcement learning, and also we have seen an example for the reinforcement learning, which is Q learning, where we solved a numerical example. So now we are in a state to compare our reinforcement learning with the other approximation tasks what we have done in the earlier units or earlier chapters. And also we will see what are the limitations of this reinforcement learning. Our reinforcement learning differs with the other learning tasks in several aspects. The first one is delayed reward. And the second one is the exploration. Third one is the partially observable states. Fourth one is lifelong learning. Okay, so for this, let us take the problem that we have solved using Q learning as a reference. Okay, so with the help of this, let us try to understand these problems. So first thing is a delayed reward. Okay, so the task of the agent is to learn a target function n that maps from the current state to an optimal action. So here we will be stating the problem as a is equals to n of s. But whereas if you see the other learning tasks in the earlier chapters, where we have formulated our target function always s comma so x comma t of x so or x comma y of x that is the formulation that we have given right. So in the reinforcement learning, the training information is not available in this particular form. That is. We doesn't have any part of specific data, training data, we doesn't have in the form of the instance and the target. We doesn't know what is the target and what is the particular instance. Instead, the trainer is provided only a sequence of immediate reward values. Okay. So based on that, when the agent will execute a particular action, then he knows what is the reward that he is receiving, whether it is a positive reward or a negative reward. Based on that, he has to choose his sequence of actions such that he receives only a positive reward. Like that, he has to move on. But this problem is not there in the earlier cases. So because of this, the agent faces the problem of temporal credit assignment. What is the meaning of this is determining which of the actions in its sequence are to be credited with producing the eventual rewards. So this you can compare with the dynamic programming. So where when you select one particular uh, step and the next one, whatever you are choosing, it should be optimal to the previous state what you have selected. Here also, whatever action you are selecting, that should lead to an optimal one in the next state also. So like that, the agent has to select. This is called as the temporal credit assignment problem. Next one is exploration. So when the agent is exploring the environment, which ex experimentation strategy produces the most learning, most effective learning. So that has to be decided by the agent. So that means whether he has to use unknown state and actions. Okay, so first of all, which one he has to explore? Unknown state and unknown action or Already he might have explored, explored something else, right? Some state and some action he has done. So whether he has to continue with that. So that, that will be always a dilemma to the agent. So this is a problem of exploration. Even this we faced in the Q-learning also, right? When we have solved, we doesn't know where to start with. Okay, so randomly we have started with some state. Okay, so that state may not help you to continue with the further states. So then again, we randomly pick some other and iteratively when you are performing number of steps, then eventually the table got updated. It doesn't happen in a single step, right? And then partially observable states. So although it is convenient to assume that agent sensor can perceive the entire state of the environment, usually, so the agent sensors are very powerful. It can sense everything at a time. But in some other cases, it may not be possible. So we will take only, all the time we'll assume that only partial information is available. Because it is a machine, we cannot expect 100% accuracy. For example, when a robot 
with a forward pointing camera cannot see what is behind it. Okay. Since the robot is capable of forward pointing, so only it can see what is before it, but it cannot see what is behind it. So that is the problem. Only partial information can be pursued by the agent. So in such cases, what to do? The previous observation, previous means in using the back camera also some other instances might have been captured. So using that in connection to the forward pointing camera, everything has to be put together and then analyze and then choose the action specifically to improve the observability of the environment. So only we are saying it has a partially observable state. And the next problem is a lifelong learning. This there is no end to this reinforcement learning. It's a lifelong learning problem. Okay. So this robot learning often requires that robot will learn several related tasks within the same environment using same sensors. But from time to time, it will update its policy. It will learn new and new things. It will try to become more and more efficient. For example, a mobile robot may need to learn how to dock on its battery charger, how to navigate through narrow corridors. Initially, it might not face this problem. Narrow corridors, it might have not. Okay, it has only open spaces and it has moved very freely and it has learned how to move there. But later on, it faced with the narrow corridors. Then it has to learn that also. Then how to pick up output from laser printers. So step by step, it has to learn. And this is the lifelong learning. Whenever the equipment changes again, it has to adopt to that and it has to learn. So this setting raises the possibility of using previously obtained experience or knowledge to reduce the sample complexity while learning new tasks. Okay. So this is how our reinforcement learning differs from the other learning tasks. Okay. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any um difficulty please let me know in the comment section if you find the videos informative and useful please do share it with all those who are in need of this thank you